Okay, so here's how to make the quick um, visibility toggling on the text. So we're gonna do it with the uh, the blue um, the blueprint class instead of with the level blueprint. Um, so you have blueprint class. With an actor blueprint crest, probably. If not, and it's like we'll call it you win again, just like I did in the stream. So in here, we need to add the component, and it's going to be a sphere, right? Okay. So you could add the text in here too, and then when it goes over the uh the box collision or whatever kind of collision you use. So two, two, two. Um, it would just you know hide the text, and it would still show in the normal world. But if you wanted to pass in, so if, say we go text render, and then we go you know above it or something, and we go variable nature text render. And I change. How do I change what the actual text is? I haven't played with these. Text. Oh, text, text. It's a uh, you win. Okay. So there's one method of doing it. And again, this could be part of the sphere. So it's a child of the sphere now. It's a child of the scene. So compile. So the next thing we're going to need is the public variable if we're not doing it with the uin that I've just added to the, uh, the blueprint. So let's call this um, text uh, text object. Sure. Okay. So we go over here and we do text render believe is what they're called um text render actor yes so now this is of type text render actor the drop down menu is if you want a bunch of them that you want to modify or just one so we just want the one for now single um if you had one where it was just you know you win or you lose and you want one to be visible and one to the other you could potentially put them both in here so that you could uh, just for loop through them or you could have a separate variable one for the you win text and one for the you lose text might be easier to do as you don't have to for loop through it but in this case now we need to make this public so we got to click the little i and then go into uh, hit compile and then go into the event graph. So the next thing we got to do, make this small for a second. Um, we're going to drag this you win sphere into the map. Uh, we can rotate it, make it visible. Okay. So on this now, we've got something called default, which is the public variables, and you need to pass in the object. So if you can't find it, you might have one of these other things selected. So you got to actually select the object itself at the very top and then select template variable so that's the one that's going to be above the door so it's not part of this object like the one that's floating above it but it'll be the other one that's how you can pass in external objects so they can communicate that's one way um, so now that we've done that we can go into here and we have these default ones here if you don't have them though you can click the box and scroll down. You've got all of these events. Or you could select the box, scroll down to the bottom. Or you can select the box and type in on begin overlap. On actor begin overlap event. So again, these are all the ones that were just visible and all the different ways of doing this. So from there, you just grab the text object here. This is the one that we're passed in through the uh, public variable. 
So we grab the draggy thing and we're going to do a set visibility text render. So it'll do this um, target thing and it's going to target the text render. So this is taking the current object that we passed in. It's grabbing one of those sub objects and then that subject sub object that we're targeting is the text render. And then we're now changing the visibility. So um, visibility to true means it's false. Unboxed is false. So this is that. And so if we hit compile and play, uh, where is it? All right, so we've got that one that's out on the map somewhere else that we're passing in. We walk into it and it disappears. Um, and we could select the box just so you don't have to like, so you can do multiple testings and stuff. Um, you could go on end overlap and add plus here. So then you just select these, uh, you don't even just, just copy and paste this thing. Drag this to the target again, drag this and then new visibility true. Drag a little click in the plus and then compile. So now it just will turn on and off as you approach it and stuff. And then you can use that for doors and all kinds of things. So um, the other one that we've added to the sphere, we could just reference by clicking the components to do text render. Um, or you could drag from up here as you know it's part of the scene. Drag and drop there. And then you're just going to do the same thing. So you're going to just drag out from there, do set visibility. And then you could drag from here. Um, and we'll just connect these two so that they both work. Um, so when you enter the box of the object, the text above it is going to disappear. And then if you were to leave it again, we could just do the same thing. So it's going to become visible again. So now when we leave the box, it'll become visible again. We just got to make sure we take a text render object and just point it at that. Um, and then I can just connect this one so that they, all the things that we created up till now are functional. So when I approach it, it disappears. And that one also disappeared. And then when I walk away, they both appear again.